What's happening, player partners? Now I'm gonna swoop tapping in with y'all. Um, I wanted to make a quick video. I'm not gonna be too long, but I just wanted to um, kind of uh, let y'all know checkpoint wise for those who haven't met um, the 50 day plus um, checkpoint of semen retention what to expect spiritually you know what I'm saying um things that you will expect or you should expect to happen once you make it to 50 plus days once you reach 50 plus days um I feel like you're going towards your semen being fully mature right and you kind of this is when you start setting yourself apart. This is when your energy is starting to be felt in the spiritual realm even more. You know what I'm saying? And you start attracting your tribe um, to go deeper in depth with that. Um, me personally, what I'm experiencing now, uh, from my perspective on my journey, um, I'm starting to attract high, high vibrating en entities you know what I'm saying? Because you are what you, um, you attract what you are on a daily basis when you're being consistent with just eating healthy. I've been eating solids every day, um, really eating little to no meat, um, eating a lot of fruits lately, a lot of steak seeds on deck, pumpkin seeds. And, you know, drinking my gallon of water. Um, hold up. Got my ashwagandha right here. <laughs> Black maca root. I got some, uh, heredity powder. I got some, uh, I got hemp seeds. I have, uh, What else I have? Uh, I got some sea moss. That's that's a game changer right there. Sea moss. Um, I got some chlorophyll. Uh, this new thing I'm trying right now, and it's, this this it boosts your energy, and boosts you just your testosterone vitality. Just it does what it's supposed to do, and it's just the um, best grade of it, the highest grade of the honey that you can get. And it's from uh, New Zealand, and New Zealand is like the best of the best where they, uh, how it's um, processed and stuff like that from the bees and stuff. It's Manuka honey. Manuka honey, man. Game changer. New thing that I'm trying is raw. Um, K Factor 16. The other one is, uh, I forget the other grade. Um, but, man, just anywhere I go now, my energy is just felt, felt, bro. When I say felt, I mean like kids are very interactive with me. Um, women feel my energy. Like they looking, they staring through the tents. Um, I'm going to restaurants. I'm starting to get free stuff. You know what I'm saying? Men are being very respectful to my aura. They call me boss and sir and all of this stuff. Um, women are being very feminine in their in their uh, feminine state. They return to their feminine state when I'm around them. They, excuse me, playing with their hair. You know, they serve me, ask me if I want anything else and stuff like that, being forthcoming. You know, you know, just getting free stuff. Um, basically wanting to serve me. Uh, now, there's also being men that's a more secret competition uh they're emotional their their reaction to a men that's retaining um you intimidate them you're very intimidating like to people on this journey very intimidating you know what i'm saying so to a person that's depleted and is not holding on to their sacred oil 
uh, seeing a man that's focused and full of sacred masculine energy is very intimidating to their soul. It's very intimidating to their spirit. And you'll notice when you step into the room, especially 50 plus days, you'll see the environment change. You know what I'm saying? It's like you attract your tribe. You attract the high vibrating. You attract, when you become a renunciate and you renounce all worldly things, that's when you have authority over that. You know what I'm saying? Once you like really show that you don't care for um, nature's thrall, that's when nature becomes your thrall. You know what I'm saying? That's when it becomes your servant. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you do as you please. Um, I'll do a separate video on the supplements I've been taking to enhance your semen retention journey because the supplements that I've been taking on my journey Trust me, you'll see a significant difference. Like a significant difference. Like you'll see benefits a lot faster. And um, you'll get to glow a lot faster. Even though we don't do this for benefits and stuff like that. But the supplements that I've been taking, yeah, my aura is felt. And then another thing that I did earlier, um, I was reading The Bliss of Celibacy. And one thing that it said to... Um, that'll help you on your semen retention journey as far as celibacy journey to uh, um, control your urges and control uh, yourself and be more successful in your celibacy streak and learning how to control or get rid of addictions, especially sexual addiction, is meditation. You know what I'm saying? And um, what I did earlier to just clean myself of soul ties and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I was out here in these streets. Like, I was really slaying this mug with different women that I was interacting with or I had a sacred energy exchange with. So I was slanging that thing to a lot of women. And um, I never took the time out to myself to actually clean out my spiritual body. You know what I'm saying? So one thing that you can do to clean out your spiritual body is take uh, salt baths, Epsom salt baths. You know what I'm saying? And so I had took this Epsom salt, this, uh, mixed in with ashwagandha, and I soaked up in the tub, you know what I'm saying? And I did that for a good little while. And then after that, when I, after I got out the tub, um, I had went and meditated in nature. To my, I went to my favorite spot. If you watch my uh, older videos, you'll see that park that I always go to where I was grounded and stuff. I did that same thing because I remember when I was on the lone streak, how I was vibrating so high was because I was in nature a lot. I was grounding a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was meditating a lot in, the, uh, in, the, um, in nature, you know what I'm saying? And um, I was doing a lot of sun gazing and stuff like that, just getting more connected with nature. And that's how I just, I was, that's how I was vibrating so high. So I did that earlier. And, um, feel great about myself. You know, so I feel amazing right now. Um, I feel very um, at peace, calm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, that's just some of the things that you'll notice on your journey when you make it to this mark. Now, just starting off, um, don't be too hard on yourself. If you just relapsed, don't be too hard on yourself. Um, just learn from it and keep going. Don't ever give up. That's the only time that you let yourself down is when you quit. You know what I'm saying? So never quit. You know, pick yourself back up. Learn from your experience. Take the good and leave the bad and continue to push forward because it gets greater later. You know what I'm saying? See, my retention is hard. I'm not going to make it seem like I got this down pack. I'm still learning as I'm, as I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I'm a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just been in the trench with, uh, with this sacred journey so long to the point where I'm starting to be accustomed to the journey. I, I know what to expect, but it's still new to me. You know what I'm saying? I've only been practicing semen retention for three years now. You know what I'm saying? Like taking it seriously for two years, but practicing it for three years. And I can honestly say this year and like the beginning of last year, um, very, uh, very, it was it was a it was a great experience for myself. I learned I learned a lot about myself. I came a long way, man, from uh, lustful, wicked thoughts to you know 
I used to be releasing every day. I used to really be in my Lord. I used to be living in my lower chakras like it wasn't, and wasn't even aware of the semen retention or aware of my sacred oil. But now that I'm aware of the power that I possess, I don't know the extent, and that's what I'm working on achieving is seeing how how just how powerful I am. You know what I'm saying? And once I step into my leadership role, you know what I'm saying? How do I? Uh, how do I, you know, elevate even more up the ranks by just being patient, you know what I'm saying, and taking it one day at a time. So uh, I don't want to be too long, you know what I'm saying? That's what you should, you, uh, you can expect when you're 50 plus days in on semen retention, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you are, keep going. Just keep going. Take it one day at a time. Be patient with yourself, man. And um, keep God first. And everything will be all right, man. Keep your power. Peace.